All right, people, welcome back. More Binding of Isaac. So last run, we barely squeezed out a victory with uh, Judas. So now Judas has gotten his win against uh, Isaac. So I said last run, we're just going to go ahead and get Azazel over with. We don't have to worry about... Oh, we also did uh, uh, Boss Gauntlet with uh, Judas as well. So you know what? I'm just going to go ahead, easy little, quick little Azazel run. Go ahead and get the victory with Azazel, hopefully. Unless I'm just like completely trash. And uh, yeah. Anarchist, anarchist cookbook. Uh, okay. So, of course, you guys know that um, Azazel starts off with uh, the full card. And usually the full card's kind of crappy, except for the fact that he can kind of scum, uh, you know, the, the, the boss trap room. I'm going to go ahead and use um, Anarchist cookbook here. Hopefully get a bomb over there to that tinted rock. Yes, I did, and give me that spirit heart. I don't like Anarchist, Anarchist Cookbook, but we'll go ahead and take it. So, they actually fixed uh, uh, Brimstone and stuff like that, which is great. Okay, I do not know how to destroy that poop, but alright. Dingle is not the kind of boss that I like to be facing with uh, with uh, Azazel, you know. I like uh, Generally, when I fight Dingle, I like to keep my distance. You know, I like to stand horizontal to him. His string prong shot, uh, really, I don't like. So, I generally like to keep my distance from Dingle, horizontally. But, uh, you know, I also don't know when he's going to do his charge attack. So, I kind of like trying to get in there, sneak in there, blast him, get back away from the charge shot. Right, he's going to do his charge. One, two, then three. Turn up. And there you go. What was that? Speed ball? It's not what I need, but I'll take it. And we're just gonna go on. So, like I said, we might be thinking about maybe scumming something out of the... Oh, uh, we're going to the cellar, aren't we? Yep. Think about scumming something out of the... You know what? I need consumables, so we'll go ahead and do it. What's that? Pin? Wow, alright. <laughs> I don't know how Pin fucking pinned me down there. He fucking pinned me down in the corner. I was like, oh, I got room to back up. And it's like, uh, nope. Gurglings. Uh, gurglings are a lot scarier with their creep, but of course I can fly, so. You know, I kind of like moonwalked it. I'm like spitting that hot, hot Azazel breath in, his, in their face while backing it up, so. So Azazel, of course, starts off very powerful, you know. You know, there's no argument that he's... You know, I'm pick it up because you know if I lose it, I'm dead anyway. So I might as well pick it up. Uh, there's no argument that you know he's uh, the most powerful character in the game. Uh, but I think we need a, just a little bit, just a little bit to make this run work. So I'm wondering. I don't think Azazel can you know handle the entire run. Like if I get straight up nothing in this run, can he handle it by himself? I don't think so. So you know, definitely. If I if I get Brimstone, then I think I can handle this. Uh, well, that's much better than Anarchist Cookbook, I can tell you that. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use this one last time. Hopefully, get me a, uh... Yep. Exactly what I want. Something to bomb that Tentarok. And we'll take Box of Spiders. Box of Spiders. Two room charged. Go ahead and spawn me some spiders. Uh, not bad. Spiders scale with my damage, of course. Uh, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. You know? It's not the... It's not the end all be all for you know this run with Azazel but I'll take it good thing I can fly so I can go ahead and grab them bombs you know so of course I'll go ahead and wow alright what's this Empress I mean I'm, I'm gonna keep the fool so I guess I'll go ahead and use the Empress card on this boss right here which is pin again so it's like hey you know are you in that uh that mob trap room and you took damage on me like, how about, you know, how about we fight again? Like, uh, no, I don't like you. <laughs> I don't mind Pin. He's stronger than the original game, at least. Alright, I will take the scab, and I will trade it for a deal with the devil. Oh my god, that's... Contract from below is really good, but also is fear shot. That's a damn. that's a straight up damage up. You know what? I'm gonna take fear shot. I'm con... I'm... Uh, Consumable-wise, as a player, I'm not really a big fan of it. You know, it's nice to have consumables. It's nice to have enough bombs and keys. But uh, you know, I'm not like, oh yeah, I'll totally trade my health right now. You know, 
like damage between the argument between damage and consumables i will take uh damage any day anyway let me go ahead and give you guys a seed i know i say it on the second floor but i've just been going so fast with zazel right you know anyway his uh the seed is m9 q n e z a r a Ezar? Ezar? <laughs> like I said, if we can get Brimstone, I think we could literally just, you know, fucking just steamroll this run. All we need is Brimstone. You know, Azazel can fly. I love flying. Azazel has brim a short little Brimstone. I don't mind that. But the range, the, the range of Brimstone, that would just give me enough defense to, to survive. You know? I think that literally the game could give me no more health upgrades and I could still probably pull off the victory just through the fact that I can fly and have brimstone. Like, those two put together is, uh, is almost a guaranteed victory. It's like, it's like some of the best things you can have. Spider, you want to go ahead and just kill him? I said spider scale and he is just running away from that spider. Spider scale to your damage. It's an interesting room they got there. This room would be kind of a pain in the dick and kind of tedious if I couldn't, if I didn't have the ability to fly. The problem with not, with this is that, you know, I gotta get up close and personal with these guys so if they explode, they can easily explode in my face, you know? And the spiders, they can't fly over this chasm, so it's kind of, they can't handle the situation for me either. Yep, just like that. Just like that. I'm kind of, I'm trying to like, you know, hit them and then pull back. Very difficult play. These guys aren't as bad. Oh, I forgot my fool card. Okay, moon card works. So I was like, oh. I, I would love, totally love to uh, scam the boss gauntlet. Uh, no. I'd rather keep Box of Spiders. Box of Spiders has actually been working out pretty nice for me lately, so. So I'm just going to hold on to this card. Then when we beat Mom, I'm going to go ahead and pop, walk in. Because I think time-wise, we're doing fairly well. Yeah. We're already on, uh, what? I might play you. I might play you. We'll talk. We'll talk. Spiders, if you want to go ahead and hit them for me. Damn it, it's hard to shoot down with my A button being kind of broken. Then I'm still playing with my, uh, Xbox controller. Like I said I definitely prefer my Xbox controller. I'll go ahead and spawn some spiders so I can get that charge. You know, I'll go ahead and play my judgment. If he gives me an HP upgrade, then that's more than I can ask for. I'll take the compass. Only thing I really won't take is the ladder because I can already fly. I'll take the map. I'll take the map. I can't use it this floor, but you know I like the map, so I'll take it. There we go. Spawn some more spiders, and let's go ahead and handle this boss. Polycephalus. Spiders, get in there. Tear them up. Done. No deal with the devil. Alright, I'll go ahead and take my HP upgrade and uh, move on to the next floor. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I don't mind the box spiders. My items have literally not been like, oh my god, end all, be all, the best, you know, at all. Not even close. But, uh, yeah, the strength of Azazel has been carrying me in this run, I will definitely say that. The strength of Azazel, you know. If I was starting off with any other character, this run would not be looking too hot right now, you know. I've gotten, what? An HP upgrade. Speed upgrade. I think two HP upgrades. No, no. I think only one. I could just simply look at my items. Uh, yeah, two HP upgrades. Magical Scab and, uh, you know, dinner. Speed upgrade. Uh, nothing... Nothing on this run is screaming like, oh my god, OP-ness, you know? You give me Brimstone, and yeah, then maybe we could talk, you know? Give me Brimstone, and I might be able to just completely win this run. <laughs> like I said, that distance is just beautiful, so. It's never a big fan of shops or arcades, even though, you, you know, you of course gotta do that stuff. I was thinking that maybe something would be down here. I was like, either the boss room or my item room's gonna be over here, so. I had to go to either or. Go ahead and take that. You know, I'll open this. Yeah, that was worth it. I got a key. Item room contains. I don't know. I have Curse of the Blind. 
Poly stuff was. Um, I don't think that works with Azazel, but that's a extreme damage upgrade. So, there we go. More damage. I think my damage, yep. Damage is on image wise, it's capped. But I can get stronger. You can always get stronger. You know? That's just giving you like a, you know, like a guesstimate of how strong you are. And clearly I'm strong. So, that's nice to be strong. There's a shot, but I don't care about that. Like I said, I have a free teleport to the shop, but I'm going to use that, of course, on uh, Depths or Necropolis 2 to go ahead and scum the uh, boss gauntlet out of an item. And all my spiders died. That sucks. Gertie. Woo, my damage is good. Damn, I tore Gertie a new one. Hello? I think the spiders contributed to that, though. Yeah, the spiders contributed to that. Never mind. Never mind. I thought I did all that by myself. I was like, holy shit. Gertie, get fucked up. Like, no. That, that spiders helped. Uh, deal with the devil would be uh, awesome and well-deserved because I took no damage at all. Yes, it is. Range up. I think it works on him now, but not by much. Krampus. Gotta play that Krampus tax. If you give me head of Krampus... Will I take it is the question. Well, a lump of coal ain't gonna do much for me. I hate that attack. Head of Krampus. Head of Krampus or... You know what? Head of Krampus. I'm gonna take it because that can easily help me tear up the bosses. This box of spiders has been fine, but head of Krampus can literally tear a boss's asshole off. So, <laughs> you know, so that plus Azazel is strong enough. You know? Go ahead and go into here. I don't know how that works. So I'm not going to take it. <laughs> I don't think it works, so I think it would probably just be a damage down. So, no thank you. I think the boss is just straight up, to tell you the truth. Health-wise, we're okay. Damage-wise, we're okay. I took a couple hits on Krampus, because... I couldn't dodge around them fires and his attacks. They were actually kind of complicated. Them zombies were just kind of smooching there. It's either over here or up there. Like I said, I probably, I think I got to go through that big room. This room is easy if you can fly. If not, it's kind of a pain in the dick. Nope, I was wrong. I was wrong. It's the shop. At least map is helping out and telling me when there's dead ends. Like I said, I will not pass up a map. Northern Lion was kind of like, oh, I don't like the map. Nelson doesn't tell you secret rooms. As you can clearly tell, I'm not a big fan of secret rooms either. They are not as good in this game as in as in the original game. In the original game, they could give you a couple of change. You can actually do something with the money. Now they just kind of give you bombs and keys. It's kind of like, eh, I don't, I don't need that. All right, so it could either be up here. Or it could also be down here, though. Maybe. Yep, it was. I was like, oh, it's probably down here now that I think about it. Alright. Let's get the power of brimstone on this boss. Gish. Alright. Nice brimstone. I mean, nice Krampus's head right there. You know what the good thing about playing your Krampus tax and fighting him? At least I don't gotta fight him again. So if I get to deal with the devil. No, I didn't get a deal with the devil. Why am I not getting deals with the devil? <laughs> Shit, take my health. I don't need it. Well, I kind of need it. But, you know, if you want to give me brimstone for two hearts, deal. Ooh, this one's a tough one. It could be there, there, there. And I still got to go to my item room. So, let's start with here. All right. Nothing's over here. And we got to go to... Pretty much got to go to everything, but... It's not looking too hot. Oh, we're doing time wise. Oh shit! Ah, I got like ten minutes. I am I'm blazing through this game right now. Hello. I don't mind little gish. She slows down the enemies for me and makes sure so I can. Wow. All right. Get hit. <laughs> A guy kind of just stuck his neck out way farther than I I anticipated. I don't know what this room is. Not the shop. 
And of course, we're gonna go do our good old fashioned bombing. Because more spirit hearts is always nice. There you go. I already got two spirit hearts. That's more than a good deal. Alright, that's fine. I'll pay two keys. What's in here? Two. Uh, I don't remember if two's good. I don't think so. I don't think two does anything. That's relevant, you know. You know, it doesn't re-roll my run completely, so. Demon judgment. Well, yeah, I'll tell you. Um, experimental treatment. I don't know how I feel about that item. I know Northern Lion completely hates it. Uh, pretty much, I take it, and I have a chance of increasing or decreasing every single one of my stats by one. So, the question is, is it worth it? That's not worth it. Actually, that might be worth it. Hmm. Alright, there's my item room. I knew that these ends would be the ends of something. All of them. That might be worth it. Item room contains... What is that? Capricorn, all stats up. Okay, well, <laughs> I didn't know what, what sign that was, but I'll take all stats up. I'm not taking that now. Now since I got Capricorn, all stats up, I don't need that. I don't need that at all. My damage is flying, my speed is flying, my health is flying, I am fine. You know, the only way I'll even consider taking it, this is probably the secret room right here, just because of the skulls and the placement. Yep. Alright, some money. I guess I'll donate it after I buy something from the shop. If I buy something from the shop. Alright, and clearly, the boss is over here. I mean, that's a given. This floor was not very nice when it came to, uh... You know, going places. I, I didn't even have to fight that room. Why did I fight that room? I don't know. I'm just so used to fighting things. <laughs> uh, no, I'm good with pills, too. There's a shop, which of course I will be getting a uh, free teleport into after I s scum the mob trap room. I don't think there's an arcade on this floor. Alright, come on hands, shit. There we go. Just scam mom real quick. Oh, it's Red Mom. The easiest of all moms. Red Mom is the easiest, if you're wondering. Yep. More health. I guess I'll go ahead and take this. Go into the deal with the devil. Will you give me? Uh, no and yes. Because I got one more deal with the devil, so I at least want it to be guaranteed. Pop in here. Um, I don't know how that works. I don't know how that uh, uh, this doesn't do anything. I guess I'll take money equals powers as a damage upgrade. And bum friend can suck my butt, so yeah, I'll take that. Oh, the moon takes you to the secret room. Oops, my bad. What was that? Oh, the hermit card. Hey, I mean, I did exactly what I wanted to do. Let's just get out of there. So. So you know what? I'll pop in, I'll pop into the item then. I mean the the shop. One more spirit heart. Hey, I'm at cap health. Pop in here, greed. PhD, no. Battery, no. No. You know what? I'm just gonna keep my damage. If I didn't get money money equals power, you probably could have convinced me, but I I like I like I like where I'm at right now. So uh, we're just gonna move on. So, all we got is, you know, Womb, slash Euro. Alright, it's probably, definitely, oh, it's definitely down, down, over, 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 down, down, yes, that direction. There's maybe a secret room right there in the middle that maybe we could bomb through. But, uh, it's definitely over in that general direction. Definitely, definitely. That's what I like about the map, you know? My knowledge of Binding of Isaac kind of shows, and it's kind of like, can I predict? Which which direction it is, which games would how would the game developers want me to you know take this route you know, you know they immediately wouldn't want to place me anywhere close to the boss so you know they want me to, ooh wow, 
wow, my damage is through the roof. So Cricket's head, I think it adds 1.5 damage and then multiplies that by 1.5. So my damage is fucking strong. Like, I have high damage. High damage. My damage is strong. I am strong. Okay, you can stop. So, damage, not even worried about it. Health, I'm okay. So, you know, this run, I think this might be a victory, to tell you the truth. Yeah. I'm thinking this might be a victory. I do not know how those guys died. I didn't even touch them, so... God damn it. There we go. I let it go second, split second too early. I should have got really punished for that. I wonder what this room is. Looks like maybe like a little arcade or something, or some kind of room. I mean, I got keys. Uh, no, and no. <laughs> no. Actually, you know what? Yes, because I want to bomb my way through this room, if it's possible. No. Alright. Then I guess we're walking. Blah. Alright, you sure that this isn't the secret room? You sure? Yeah, alright, alright, game. Alright, I, I learned my lesson. They're like, God damn it! No, it's not a secret room. Like, okay, okay. I, I, I thought maybe you were just kidding before. I don't like this at all. I hate this room. I hate these fuckers. These guys are like some of the worst enemies in the game. It's fucking mask and hearts. All right, like I said, it's definitely down here. I mean, that's pretty obvious. If it ain't obvious, then I don't know what is obvious. There we go. Swung around, killed him. Saving Krampus's head, of course. Sure. Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 One A. I got, I'm a Zazel, so I have to get close. B. My damage is fine. You know, you only take that damage. You only take that thing if your damage is poop, and my damage is good. So, Daddy Long Legs. I should be able to tear him up with freaking one Krampus's head charge. Yep. Uh, sh sure. Sure, because I'm about to trade it in for the Devil and Tears up. That's fine. Really? That is not what I need for my final deal with the devil at all. Like, I don't even have any gum. I could have gotten uh, nine lives, but I, was, I passed it up, you know. And this would only be my second one anyway. So that's what I get for taking freaking Goat's Head. That's my final deal with the devil. Nope. I gotta move on. Beat Mom's Heart, go to the cathedral, beat Isaac, and end this run. Alright, it's clearly at the end. I mean, that's obvious. I said sometimes these some of these are obvious. Alright, that was a waste of time, but like I said time's not really a factor right now. Like at all. I'm not like, oh, I'm speedrunning it. Like, really I just want the win. <laughs> Nah. I, I wish that you could tell which heart belongs to which mask. Yeah. Like, you're being chased by a mask, and you, like, kill one of their hearts, and you're just like, Oh, yeah, the one chasing me through this beer. Like, uh, no, that was the other heart. Like, oh. Uh. <laughs> Alright, that should be done. So I just gotta take out these things, which I still don't really know what they are. They don't do anything, you know? I think, I think they're just bulky enemies that are just there to keep you in the room for a while. Another two key room. This is probably a dice room, because the other one was nothing, so this one's probably like a, a dice room. I'll open it, just to amuse you. Nope. That rerolls your run. <laughs> nope, I am plenty strong. I am strong. This is Hazel Run. It's easy. I wanted a quick, fast, easy Binding of Isaac run, and they gave it to me, so. You know. If I had the chest unlock, I could probably take the chest. You know. I got some of the best damage upgrades that you can ask for in the game, so, you know. I got Cricket's Head, I got uh, Polymorphous, I, Morphism, I got I got the good damage. I got that good, good damage, so, and I got health, so. Like I said, I could probably take uh, the chest if I had it unlocked. So I guess we're going to have to come back with another strong Azazel run on another day and get that done. Oh. I see, I keep on predicting them right. I said, you give me the map, and I can work it like a compass. Mostly. Unless it's so goddamn, like, completely off that I'm just like, oh, damn. But I, I, can, I can work it like a compass. 
So, you know, Northern Lion knocking the... Northern Lion knocking the freaking map, man. Northern Lion, you can go either one, because the map is good. Alright, that was fun. I hate, I hate these enemies. I hate these enemies a lot. Like, if it wasn't for those enemies... Uh, that was the first time I got hit in a cool minute. <sighs> nope, we're going on up. Alright, this run should be close to over, guys. I see the whole map. Hmm, it could be up or down. Yeah, it could be either or. Alright, well. Let's get let's get started. We clearly know it's this way at least. You know, at least we don't have to guess and be like, oh, well, is it left or right? Like, no, we definitely know that it's left. God damn it. I tried to dodge that, like, freaking Neo, but I messed it up. Oh, well, you guys know, always bomb the blue fires. Always bomb them. Bomb, I would gladly trade a bomb for a spirit heart any day. There we go. You know, or even the chance to get a spirit heart, you know. So I love these blue fires. You know, just the chance. Would I trade in three bombs for a spare heart? Shit, I would trade 20 bombs in for a spare heart. I don't use bombs offensively. You know, there's some people, you know, who, uh, use bombs, you know, to help them fight. Not me. Not really. God damn it. I hate these bonies. I, I, you know, they're hard. They're already pretty difficult enemies, but then I have to get close to them. God damn. So, I already don't like them. Not about that. Don't throw this run. This run is way too good to be thrown. Fucking scythes. Fucking scythes. Fucking scythes! Just move, scythe! Damn! You're dead. All I have to do is just kill the goddamn stick. Yeah. So those enemies are already difficult. But then for Azazel, they're like a pain in the dick. These also these enemies are also kind of a pain in the dick for Azazel. God damn it. Accidentally released the button. God damn it! Gish and your fucking fear shot. Oh my god, it's gonna be a pain in the dick too. There we go. I think it's up. I hope it's up. I don't want to hemorrhage any more health than I need to. Nope, I was wrong. It's down. See? That's the good thing about map. I can at least pop in and I can see the dead ends. So... Yep, it's down. Not since I look at it, yeah, it looks like it would be down. So, gotta do more rooms. I got my Krampus's head all ready for Isaac. There we go. Alright. And Isaac. Actually, you know what? I should use my cramp instead of charge now. I hate this part. I hate his second phase. His second phase is the worst. His end phase? Not that. God damn it! Might be kind of hard for Azazel though, because I gotta get close. God damn it. I need practice on Isaac. I think I might have this though. I think I got the win. Yeah, I win. I was too strong. I'm Azazel. So, Tank Bible. That's a nice, that's a nice item. Alright, we win. That was an easy run. So, there you go. Azazel, done. So, all we need to do is just unlock the chest, beat the chest with Azazel, and then we'll be done with him on normal mode anyway. So, there you go. There's your Azazel run. Two win streak. Who are we going to play as next time? Maybe some Samson? Maybe. 
Maybe some Samson. Maybe Eden Token. Yeah, it's either going to be between... Yeah, yeah. let's go with Samson. Samson next time. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Binding of Isaac. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next time with some more Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Alright guys, thanks for watching.